Well, a fantastic performance here in St Austell at White River Place today with Madison. Madison, tell me, how did all this start? Well, it started because we went to Gambia first. Um, with um, We did some charity work over there and we, we needed a year off. So my mum, I wanted to do some more on my own and I, and I decided to do it for a New Year's re- resolution. And tell us, how are you doing at the moment? I'm doing good, really. I'm on 7,500, which I'm really happy, but I need, a, I need about... I've got six, day le- six days left, and I need about £401 a day. Wow. So how can people donate? Obviously, there's people donating here. They put money in your bucket because you're fantastic playing. How can they donate online, or how can they contribute to this course that you do? Well, they can um, donate online on my Facebook page, Madison Glinsky Fundraiser, and they can go on to Just Giving and donate as much as they like. So just to tell the people, it's £10,000 you're trying to raise. That's during uh, up until you go back to school, is that right? Yes. And you're two and about 2500 away from that, yeah? Yeah. OK. And when did you start playing the violin? About five years ago when I was about four. So I was going to say, you're only nine now, aren't you? Yes. And why the violin? Why didn't you decide, like, the drums or something like that? Because at school, loads of people were playing it, and I was just taken by the music and how they played it. I just thought it was a really nice instrument to play. And why the Children's Hospice Southwest? Obviously, you're a child yourself, but why have you chosen that charity to help? Well, because I thought that adults have had their childhood, but the children haven't. So I thought, well, I think it'd be nice, because as soon as I'm a child, that I donate the money to the Little Harbour Children's Hospice. Well, there's no doubt you're very, very talented, and I'm sure the Cornwall Channel viewers and anyone that sees this video who hasn't donated as yet is bound to do so, even if it's a pound, you know, every pound counts, or even every penny, in fact. So well done, and hopefully we'll see you on something like Britain's Got Talent in the future. What do you think? Yes, hopefully. (laughs) Madison, it's been a pleasure speaking to you, and uh, we'll let you get back to entertaining your audience. Thank you.